It's your burning guru in the house back with another bang on video. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about uh, another transfer news video. Well, yes, we've got a lot of news for you guys, but not only transfer news, we got more news about players as well. So sit tight and watch the video till the end. And first of all, I really like to thank you guys, and I would really like to congratulate all of you guys because we are now a 6,000 family. Yes, IG Army, IG, yes, Indian Gunner, IG Army is now 6,000 strong, and we should keep going in. And uh, the ones who have still not subscribed to the channel, if you are watching this video, if this video is ever recommended to you, please subscribe if you are seeking daily Arsenal content. Well, without any further ado, we'll just move on to the channel. But first, we're going to talk about the live. Yes, tonight is a live, uh, 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time, 3 p.m. BST and 4 p.m. Central African Time. So do not miss tonight's live for sure by any way, by any means, don't miss it at all. Get your questions because we're going to talk about the FA Cup predictions. We're also going to talk about how exactly exactly Arsenal can play the FA Cup and more important than not we're also going to talk about how exactly we can we are, we are standing in the transfer window well not only this let's talk about the first news Mesut Ozil's agent Erkut Sogut says I don't think there will be anything involving Mesut Ozil until the summer of 2021 he already has a contract nothing has changed he will stay at Arsenal. So it's pretty much clear he's going to leach out all the uh, remaining part of the contract by actually actually not even coming to training by saying he's, by giving some reasons that uh, some back issues or something like that. And he's going to make that much amount of money that his contract was given to. And moving on, Glenn Murray. Glenn, I'm sorry, Glenn Murray, Wilfred Zaha's former teammate, uh, teammate has said, uh, I think staying in London would be good for him as well. He's a real London boy. And I just think he would have been the perfect fit at Arsenal. It baffled me why they didn't go for him. There's a big reason why they did not go for him. Because they thought Wilfred Zaha is an oldie. Yes, 27 years of age for them is not the prime of a player. But he's an old player. So they went for a younger option in Nicola Pepe. I'm not criticizing Pepe for it. I know Pepe will come good next season. But I'm really shocked as to if, if your head coach is asking you for a specific player, you need to get him. But there are also a lot of problems in terms of how Crystal Palace wanted the amount straight uh, straight away up front. So I think I won't even blame the management. But let's see, there's there's no blame to be taken here. But I think somehow it did not happen last season, and we know why. Well, moving on. Emiliano Martinez is ready, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he is ready for the finals. Well, not only this, well, here's some bigger praise for, for Bukayo Saka. Alfonso Davis. If you guys don't know who is Alfonso Davis, now this guy is a FC Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich's fullback. He is a, the latest sensation who is actually signed uh, from an MLS team and he was an unbelievable. His pace is unbelievable. Just like a sprinter, he sprints, sprints, sprints and has a marvelous, marvelous, uh, uh, he has set new records in the Bundesliga this season. He, ha he was asked, who are the five best fullbacks in the world right now? He says Hakimi is one of them. I really like how Benji, Benji, Benjamin Pava uh, plays, scoring goals and getting assists. So these two. Trent Alexander Arnold definitely, and I really like Saka from Arsenal. He's a really good player. So yes, Bukayo Saka has been receiving praise. Yes, well, you can understand world class, actually recognize his world class. So you can understand. I already mentioned to you guys that Bernardo Silva exchanged his jersey with Bukayo Saka after that Manchester City game. So you can see what is all up, everything, uh, everything is all about. Aston Villa won't sell Jack Grealish for less than 80 million pounds, 80, 80. And Arsenal are one of the clubs who registered an interest in signing him. The interest was not followed up, according to Sky Cave Solik Hall. Now, he also said that Jack Grealish is undecided about his future. Aston Villa want to keep him and would not sell him for less than 80 million pounds. Yes, and already said that Arsenal are linked with him. And Kave says, what we found this afternoon is that Arsenal are one of the clubs who registered an interest in signing him. That's what we are being told. Arsenal asked about him, asked about how much potentially a deal would cost, but they did not follow it up. For now, they did not. So, that does not mean that you can rule out the whole Jack Grealish situation at Arsenal. But moving on. Did you know William Saliba was spotted in Arsenal training at London Colony yesterday? Yes, it was William Saliba. You can watch the image. It's not clear though at all. But I know why it is not clear. It is pretty much clear that, you know, uh, somehow Arsenal did not want to unveil him straight away. But yes, probably in the next, uh, in uh, after this final, we are going to see him definitely into in Arsenal uh, images as well, for sure. Side Ben Rama, ladies and gentlemen, he said in the 2019-2020 championship, 
this guy is unbelievable he's first in doing attempted take ons of 244 in the whole championship 168 total shots taken first in the championship 135 successful take ons second in the championship 93 chances created fifth in the championship 64 shots on target first 17 goals fifth and eight assists that is his eighth in the list and he is something special yes unbelievable guy well manchester united arsenal napoli and paris saint germain all are very interested in lille center back gabriel magalhaes well the defender could leave on a deal of around 20 million pounds and it looks like it will take a week or so as gerard lopez the president of lille has already mentioned that gabriel magalhaes is set to leave he's asked he's been permitted to leave and the biggest reason is uh, you got to wait because in in one week's time he is going to select his team because he's got a variety of teams uh, ready to sign him arsenal man united napoli and man and Paris Saint-Germain have all made contact with Lille because he he could be available for a bargain price and that's the biggest reason why every single one of them want him well uh, talking about more situation real betis face strong competition from arsenal for free agent center back malang sar yes real betis enter the fray so that they can actually sign malang sar and improve their defense also real betis were really behind the real madrid to lay, to actually loan out dani sebayos to them but it looks like dani sebayos will extend with arsenal probably after the final you'll come to know there will be a confirmation and malang sar is right now being he, a lot of clubs are interested in him for sure everyone everyone wants to sign him but let's see let's talk about a very very legendary stat clean sheet percentage in the premier league ladies and gentlemen do you know who's the top most guy it's tony adams with 45.1% nemanja vidic is second with 40 45% john terry 44.4% gary pallister 39.8% and sammy hypia 39.3% so if anyone yes he's quite underrated tony adams but if anyone tells you anything else please do not believe them at all no one bit not even one bit okay Hector Bellerin is set to return to Arsenal's 11 for the FA Cup final against Chelsea. While well, he has recovered from the tight calf and could slot in into the right of Mikel Arteta's five-man defence, Bad Leno has also resumed light training after his injury nightmare against Brighton. But the German will be unavailable for the Wembley showdown against Chelsea. So you know what is happening. But moving on. Rivaldo ladies and gentlemen he actually gave a very very lengthy and very long interview about certain Bra- Brazilian players in the Premier League so about David Luiz he says that he can be a key player for Arsenal next season Rivaldo says Luiz did not enjoy a great first season with Arsenal but the club trusted him by renewing his contract and I think the Brazilian defender still has what it takes to play at the big English club He has a lots of experience and knows exactly how to manage his energy during a match. He could also be pivotal to help the youngsters at the club. He has lots of knowledge about English football and will improve from last season and could work as an important player in such a young and inexperienced squad that clearly needs some veterans to help them improve. And talking about Willian Rivaldo says Willian is at the end of his contract with Chelsea and Arsenal seem to be interested in signing him but he's having an excellent season and Chelsea are interested in keeping him. Frank Lampard and the board need to inform the player about their plans for him next season. Chelsea are signing players and if Willian will not be a first choice pick then probably he would prefer to leave. Willian will have many interested clubs but I think he would prefer to learn about Chelsea's plans first before taking a decision about his future. Also, Rivaldo thinks Arsenal target Felipe Coutinho should return to England this summer. He says Felipe Coutinho will soon return from from his loan at Bayern to Barcelona, but I doubt he can revive his career there. His best option could be returning to English football where he spent the best seasons of his career and in which his qualities seem to be best suited as he proved at Liverpool when he was one of the best players in the Premier League at Arsenal Tottenham or Leicester Coutinho could be a regular starter next season it would be a great opportunity good opportunity for the Brazilian to rediscover his best form and show that he continues to be an excellent player who belongs the elite well yes so it's pretty much clear for me uh, Felipe Coutinho to Arsenal should be the last option but let's see I've already mentioned that well talking about German international Matthias Ginter is reportedly on Chelsea and Arsenal's radar but Inter Milan lead for lead the fight for the defender where it looks like Ginter's homeland suggests a number of clubs are competing for his signature after he helped Borussia Mönchengladbach qualified for next season's Champions League Inter are searching for a long term replacement for veteran center back Diego Godin and have eyed Ginter for a transfer Also, Manchester United and Arsenal have said their values plummet with Liverpool on the brink of becoming the Premier League's most valuable 
valuable club. Red Devils have seen their worth drop 143 million pounds while the Gunners have depreciated by 150 million pounds. Meanwhile, Liverpool, the new champions, have now seen their value rise by 64 million pounds as they close in on fierce rivals United. The Reds have risen to fourth in the rankings of the most valuable clubs in the world and they marginally actually trail Manchester United with Real Madrid and Barcelona, the runaway leaders. Despite sitting still at number one, Lo Blancos saw over 200 million pounds knocked off their value. Well, uh, fans will be able to watch both the Champions League and Europa League finals for free next month. BT Sport have confirmed that yes, the British broadcaster will also air every single match as both tournaments clearly, uh, finally reach their climaxes in August. Resuming from the remaining round of 16 matches, both competitions will lead up to a bumper final weekend. So, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views, news and everything about Arsenal comes to this platform every single day twice. So don't forget to be joining me in my in my live. I'll talk about Joelson and also more transfer targets. And also there's a special update of other players as well. Also, we're going to talk about the FA Cup. You guys have any questions? Do let me know in the live because it's going to be 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time, 4 p.m. Central African Time and 3 p.m. BST. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers. And don't forget to subscribe. Now, I forgot to tell this. We are on a mission of reaching 10,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Yes, 10,000 subscribers subscribers is not far off ladies and gentlemen if you guys help it can happen it's very very easy but i think it's 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 about time that our channel reaches a five digit mark well it needs to it needs to be there because it i think i think in terms of quality we are there so i think we got to have the numbers as well so please subscribe if you haven't 10,000 subscribers is our target if you guys can help me out with that it'll be really great